The in-game universe of Helldivers 2 might be as cold and callous as they come, but that doesn't mean its devoted fanbase can't warm your heart from time to time. Remember, real divers always stick together. Together for victory! For better or worse, video games have always inspired communities and developed their own little pockets of culture. Some games get overwhelmed with toxicity, while others become a place of refuge for their fans. Just like any other game, Helldivers 2 has grown a tight-knit community around itself. But unlike most other games, Helldivers 2 has mostly cultivated a positive and supportive fanbase. You are democracy's most elite, least hesitant defenders. Thanks to its extremely intense battles and always-on friendly fire, the game actively encourages players to constantly be on the lookout for ways to help each other. That camaraderie becomes so strong that it keeps existing even after players log out for the night. When life gets hard, it seems Helldivers 2 fans can actually rely on their other players for support. That kind of support also clearly extends to the developers behind the game, if a recent interaction with a grieving player is any indication. A Reddit user called FineClothes1209 recently reached out to the Helldivers community after his best friend died by suicide. FineClothes1209 was just looking for a way to download and store his friend's gameplay data as a personal memorial. But it seems he was entirely unprepared for the outpouring of support the community had to offer. Helldivers fans showed it by the thousands to salute their fellow gamer. And even Arrowhead Games CEO Johan Pilesterd reached out to offer his condolences. Considering how plugged into the Helldiver scene Arrowhead CEO is, it shouldn't be all that surprising that he saw this particular thread. Pilot Sturt is always interacting with the game's fans, hinting at upcoming content and occasionally spreading some playful misinformation about current major orders. This time around, Pilot Sturt got sincere and shared his own story. He wrote, I am so sorry for your loss. My battle brother of 20 years passed away three years ago. To this day, I still see his username on Discord, Steam, and other platforms and fondly remember the many fond gaming memories we shared. FineClothes1209 had originally wanted a way to keep his friend's game data as a little memorial for himself, but Pilesterd seems to have a different idea in mind. He said that he would talk to the rest of the Helldivers team to find a way to create some kind of in-game memorial. We don't know what form that memorial will take, but all of this just goes to show that Helldivers 2 really has captured lightning in a bottle. Sometimes games are more than just a form of entertainment, and this is a fantastic reminder of why video games are so important. For his own part, FineClothes1209 greatly appreciated Pilesterd's kind words. The Redditor replied to the creative director's memorial idea, writing, Thank you so flipping much, that would be amazing. A huge portion of the Helldivers 2 community reached out to offer FineClothes their sympathy. Over 5,000 people have commented on his post as of the making of this video, and their replies are absolutely flooded with gifts of Helldivers saluting and embracing each other. People are also sharing their own stories of loss, with some even writing epic speeches memorializing their friends. The entire thread is a real testament to the best that video games have to offer. Become part of something larger than yourself. In another comment on the thread, FineClothes expressed his gratitude for what everyone else had to say, writing, I'm so amazed by the camaraderie of this community and, not gonna lie, seeing this many strangers come together to celebrate him is so awesome. The Redditor also urged anyone struggling with their own mental health to reach out for help, writing, I wish to the bottom of my heart my friend had only known how much he was valued, even by strangers. If you're struggling with thoughts, just reach out, please. If you or someone you know is struggling or in crisis, help is available. Call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org.